Hey everybody, welcome back to the Stuff of Legend. My name is D'Lo and I've got another video for you today. It's a Funko Pop collection video and this is actually, I think technically, my first completed um, collection. So, you know, Funko Pops come in a series and if you get all of the Funko Pops in a series, you have the whole collection for that series. Um, so this is my first completed uh, collection and uh, it just it just happened. My wife just surprised me one one day. She just came home, and there it was. And I just wanted to go over this with you. So I am back. Um, I have a couple of Funko Pops for you. As you could tell, I'm doing How to Train Your Dragon. And the reason why I have the green screen behind me and no actual cutouts or I didn't replace the, the background with anything else is because these Funko Pops have a lot of green on them. And so it, when I try to color key to remove the green – but still show off the Funko Pop. It looks really weird and off, so I've come up with uh, another way that I can do this for you, that I can show you guys the detail. But at the same time, I can also um, have a nice look. So I'm gonna switch over for a second and show you guys. Um, actually, uh, before I do that, I just wanted to show you the first Funko Pop is Toothless. So if you guys aren't familiar with How to Train Your Dragon, there is two films out right now a bunch of like uh, more kid friendly stuff that is on like Netflix and uh, a couple other sites, but like a Christmas special and they kind of did DreamWorks kind of did what they did with Shrek where they kind of like turned it into a big franchise. But this is honestly one of the best animated franchises I've ever seen in my life. And I'm super excited. If you guys missed the trailer for um, how to train your dragon three, uh, it was so good. They use, First of all, they use an Ed Sheeran song. You can't go wrong doing that. Um, in that, I believe it was Castle on the Hill, which already sounds kind of really uh, folk Irish kind of sounding. But man, it was it was just such a beautiful trailer, and it's it looks like such a good um, way to cap off the trilogy. But nevertheless, Toothless is one of the main characters, along with Hiccup being the human counterpart to this. But in the Funko Pop series, there's only two. So this made it really easy for me to complete this series. Now, I wanted to show off Toothless the Dragon. If you guys didn't already see, um, he's got a couple of, uh, you know, like green eyes, which are really cool to look at. This is the back. It's going to show off the second pop as well. Toothless is the primary. He's the black one that's in the entire trilogy, and it kind of revolves around him. And then there's also the Light Fury, which is teased in the trailer for How to Train Your Dragon 3, The Hidden World. So... I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you guys, just turn it around once more. This thing's really cool. They did some really nice detail. Um, in, the, in the movie, the first film, uh, the dragon gets damaged. This is the fastest, most rare of all the dragons, and uh, it's the only one of its kind remaining. It's called a Night Fury, and uh, it's the last one. Its tail gets damaged. It ends up bonding with the main uh, protagonist, Hiccup, and then uh, they become friends. He's the first person to kind of tame and ride and befriend a dragon. Dragons are monsters in their world, but then that all changes as soon as um, Hiccup is able to befriend this dragon. And uh, no one else has ever even seen a Night Fury. It's like, it's legendary. So this is really cool. My wife and I love this series. Again, I'm just going to show you this. I will unbox these so you can see them, but I'll do that at the end. So here's the next Funko Pop. This is the Light Fury. So this is the you know, this is kind of like where the, the trilogy really gets exciting because the first and the second are really great films and I love them and they expand the lore and it's just really, really good. The animation just, it steps up its game like you wouldn't believe. Um, it was already really good, especially for its time in the first one, but then the second one, just even more so, just boom, just it, it supersedes and impresses um, like you wouldn't believe. Now, the Light Fury... Um, is a change in the game because up till now, Toothless has been the only Night Fury. And this one is kind of like a, a counterpart that is compatible with Toothless. Um, up until this point, he's been alone. And now there appears to be a female counterpart to the male Toothless Night Fury Dragon. And so this is really exciting. I really like what they did with the detail on this. I mean, obviously they're really trying to show off the fact that it is a girl. There's like this kind of makeup effect on the sides of the eyes, um, the light blue eyes and the, the very vibrant white skin is really cool to look at. Um, you can see the tail down there. Um, 
it's a lot harder to see the tail on Toothless. I'm going to unbox again, like I said at the end, but this is a really, really good looking Funko Pop. Now my box has a little bit of scratching right here on the edge, but that's not a big deal for me. Um, I keep these things in the boxes. I've recently started to unbox for you guys and I will do that, but let me just go over. And I wanna show you guys some really um, high resolution images. You guys can um, see these a little bit better for yourselves. So first, this is the image, a high resolution image of the box and the Funko Pop for Toothless. And you can see basically him outside of the box. And I will actually unbox these for you so you can get better angles from the back and everything. Um, so stay tuned for that. But you can see the harness that's on Toothless that um, Hiccup uses to ride this, his dragon, his friend. And uh, you can see this little red flag that's attached to his tail. It's because his tail was damaged in the first film. So he had to create this harness that would allow Hiccup, uh, I'm sorry, allow Toothless to fly again. He was stranded and he didn't have a way to continue flying. That's how Toothless, how Toothless and Hiccup bonded together was that Hiccup helped get him back into the sky. And so that was a, a trust building thing for them. Uh, really cool story. I love the story so much. Um, who doesn't love dragons, right? Especially everybody who plays Pokemon. And uh, so, yeah, look at, you know, beautiful detail. They've, they've got all the, like, the scales along the, the middle of the face. And, you know, the dragon's kind of modeled after a cat. And it's got very cat-like behaviors um, in the film. So it's kind of like likable, enjoyable, and then you get to see it struggle with it. Des it desires ultimately independence, but then it has this new relationship with its master hiccup, and it's really cool to see that develop. So that's really cool. Now I'm gonna flip over. I'm gonna show you guys that this is the individual uh, Funko Pop, and I'll come back to that later so you can get a better HD side to side comparison with the other Funko Pop. But here we have Light Fury. And uh, this one's really cool as well. You can see the claws. You can see she's kind of standing up on her uh, hind legs, sitting back onto her butt and tail. Um, the white wings look really nice. And then the detail on the face as well. Not, there, there are no scales on this dragon. Very smooth, very clean, um, unlike its male counterpart, which does clearly have scales. Much more rugged, masculine. It's got the spines on the top. But this one, no. This one's very feminine, smooth. And a little bit smaller as well. Not by much, but a little bit. Very, very cool how they did that. Um, so this is, again, the box you can see is very colorful and it made it very difficult for me to color key. Um, so I wasn't able to use my green screen appropriately in this video the way that I wanted originally. But that's not a big deal. So you can see a lot of the detail there. I'm gonna go ahead and jump over and show them side by side here and then we'll get to the unboxing. So take a gander at this, it's really cool. Um, I had to scale uh, the uh, Night Fury a little bit. Normally he is a little bit bigger. Um, she's standing kind of tall, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you box for box. Uh, let's see, turn these off. There we go. I'll show you both the boxes side by side. And you can see that she is, I don't know if you guys can see that, She's a little bit smaller. They made her a little bit more petite and it's because she's the female, um, which is obviously natural. So that's really cool. Um, you can see that their feet are down there. The boxes do take away in this live presentation, so I will unbox them now. And I'm gonna unbox them in order as well. So let's go ahead, give me a second while I carefully unbox these Funko Pops. I, again, it's, it's almost painful for me to do this, but I, I love you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and take this out. This one's really cool. Whoa, yeah, I like this. Okay, so this one here, it's got like a gunmetal kind of uh, finish to it. It's got like a matte kind of feel. I really like how heavy this thing is. Um, the detail on the back, this thing looks exactly like it does in the film. And what's really cool about that is that a lot of the time the Funko Pops look more Funko Pop than the actual character if you're talking about like a human, uh, you know, like your favorite TV actor or something, uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. It looks very kind of almost boring because it's still the Funko Pop shape for the most part and unless they have some sort of iconic outfit or hairstyle or something like that, you don't really know who it is. Um, it's really hard to discern sometimes. But with this dragon, it's so cool because 
it actually does look quite a bit like this. I mean, the eyes are very big and kind of like, um, you know, just animated. So this is quite an accurate representation of the character in the film. And that's really fun. I'm going to get you a little bit closer. You can kind of see like you can see the harnesses all the way around. Um, you can see how it goes up and under the wing. That's really nice. Um, and then you can also see uh, all the scales every, everywhere. The tail looks really cool. Um, it looks like there was a little bit of paint had gotten onto this part of the tail. I don't know if that's going to be the case for you, um, wherever you're getting it at your store, um, you know, your model or whatever. But mine has a little bit of bleed over on the paint for the tail. Not a big deal for me, though. I don't really care. Um, I'm not going to be able to see that once it goes back in my box, but this one's really, really nice. I'm really happy with this Funko Pop, even though there is a little bit of paint um, bleed over on the tail. Uh, not a big deal. In fact, in my head, I can almost rationalize it. I can almost say, hey, you know what? That's maybe that's maybe some uh, some blood from the, the battles. <laughs> it very well could be. So I'm going to go ahead and open the next Funko Pop for you. So the next Funko Pop is the Light Fury. I'm going to be very gentle with the way that I open this because um, I am definitely going to be putting these back in their boxes. I really like to keep them in a good order for um, order and cleanliness sake. Let's go ahead and take her out. Wow, this one's really cool. Dude, I really like this one. This one's nice. It almost looks kind of like an angel, actually. And I think that's sort of the point, is that when um, when Toothless sees this, it's almost like an angel, right? He's totally smitten, smitten like a kitten um, in more ways than one. And just look at the detail on this. I mean, obviously, this one's a lot more smooth, so there's, I guess, less to detail. But even the back of the ears have those ridges. Um, that's something that is part of the character in the film. And uh, at least in the trailers, they show off a little bit of the detail. You see her flopping around a little bit. Same with, uh, uh, you know, the Night Fury, Toothless, trying to impress her desperately. <laughs> it's really cool. I really love how they did that, the spotting around the eyes to kind of give it that eyeshadow look. Um, like she's painting her face. Obviously, these are not bobbleheads. These are just the vinyl figures. Um, they are, you know, a little bit more bulky than normal Funko Pops because they have the tails and the wings, but it just looks so nice. It looks very angelic. Um, and I really like that. I really appreciate that. I'm going to give you guys another, another go around, another look. That way you guys can see that, um, a lot less to detail, like I had mentioned previously than, uh, the Night Fury, but this Light Fury is really cool and I'm really excited for the movie. And I really like the blue eyes that they, they did on the Funko Pop. Um, really stark contrast to the green eyes on uh, Toothless. Really enjoyable. I really like that. All right. So then let me go ahead and shift back over and I will show you guys these two again side by side. So that's pretty much all I wanted to do is just go over these with you guys. I wanted to show you um, how cool these Funko Pops are. And again, that's the entire series. So let me just go ahead. I haven't closed these boxes up. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the entire series is those two. It's not Hiccup. It's not any of it's not um, Astrid. None of the other uh, Vikings are the Funko Pops. They just did the dragons themselves. But I'm actually really happy with that because there are other How to Train Your Dragon Funko Pops from previous series. Not from this third film, but from previous series there are. And uh, I think it would be a little bit redundant, even though the characters have grown, they have aged, they're now more mature. Um, the dragons, for the most part, are going to be the same. And these dragons um, are clearly the stars. They're the main characters. And I think it's really nice that they did them as a pair. And it really emphasizes kind of the goal of the story is that it's like a, it's like a love story, finding the love you never knew existed um, for this dragon. So that's really cool. Anyways, um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy these Funko Pops, uh, make sure to leave a comment. Let me know which one of these two is your favorite. Do you plan to run out and grab one of these yourself? These things just dropped the other day, and uh, my wife picked these up immediately for me and surprised me with them today. 
So um, you guys might be getting this video a little bit after. I normally try to schedule these video uploads if I can. So, um, you know, I, I received these on the uh, 31st of January. My wife surprised me with these. So you guys enjoy um, these Funko Pops. I hope that you like what you have seen with the Light Fury, with the Night Fury Toothless. And um, yeah, just let me know if you guys want me to make more Funko Pop videos. I've got a lot of them and I've got a lot of new ones as well. They've been coming in a lot recently. A lot of really cool ones. I got a few of them on my desk here I've been planning videos for. So you guys rock. Um, I'm, I'm probably going to see this movie as well. And I hope that, you know, I'll have the, I'll have the time and the energy um, in these recent days to be able to make a, a movie review for you guys or um, just give you guys my thoughts. Uh, really love the series. And if you guys haven't seen it, check it out. Subscribe if, to the channel if you haven't already. Make sure to turn on notifications so that you can be no alerted right away when I go live next time or so that um, you won't miss a thing if I have like a premiere or if I'm gonna be scheduling an upload. You gotta turn on notifications to get those. Also, um, make sure to share this video with a friend who also enjoys Funko Pops. This might be fun for them to check out and enjoy. Maybe they've been considering expanding their collections. I wanna hear from you guys. What's your favorite Funko Pop? And maybe I can make a video in that same series. Thank you guys for watching. You guys stay tuned for more right here on The Stuff of Legend. Hey guys, D-Lo here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And remember to share this video with all of your nerd friends. I know you got them and you know who they are. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought about this discussion. Let me know what you would like to see me do a video on next. Subscribe to the channel because you're a legend and we have that in common. Also be sure to turn on notifications to be notified right away when I upload my next video or so that you can be alerted when I go live next time. That way you'll never miss a thing. Check out the other videos on the channel so that we can have a discussion on all your favorite movies and TV topics. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more right here on The Stuff of Legend.